Hello students, we shall now solve the first problem under the topic non-exact differential equation. So the given equation is of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 where m is equal to 2y cube plus 2 and n is equal to 3xy square. Now first we have to find dou m by dou y which is equal to 3 2 times is 6 y squared and the differentiation of 2 is 0 and dou n by dou x which is equal to now we are differentiating this partially with respect to x which uh, means that the differentiation for x is 1 and 3 y squared will be treated as constant so you get 3 y square we observe that dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x they both are different so dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x which implies that the given equation which we can mark as equation 1 this equation is not exact so the given equation 1 is not exact so if this equation is not exact in order to solve this equation we have to find the integrating factor and multiply that integrating factor with this equation 1 and turn it that equation to be exact and then we have to solve it. Now how can we find the integrating factor for this equation? We have certain rules which we have already seen in our previous video to find the integrating factor. Let us apply the rules here. We shall first use the first rule and check whether it is working out or not. So as per the first rule, if p is equal to 1 by n dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x, if this quantity is a function of x alone, that is it is independent of y, then the integrating factor u is, is given by e power integral p dx. So this is the integrating factor in this case. So let us check this now. First we shall evaluate p. So the value of p is this. So let us substitute 1 by 1 here. So n is 3xy squared. So 1 by 3xy squared multiplied with dou m by dou y is 6y squared. So 6y squared minus dou n by dou x is 3y squared. So 3y squared. Now what is 6y squared minus 3y squared? It is 3y squared. So therefore the value of p is equal to 3y squared divided by 3xy square so we can cancel this 3 and y square and so we get p to be equal to 1 by x we observe that p is a function of x alone there is no y in this so this is independent of y so independent of y so therefore the integrating factor u of x comma y will be equal to e power integral p dx so that is equal to e power integral the value of p is 1 by x dx so which is equal to e power the integration of 1 by x is log x and we know that e raised to the power of log x is equal to x only so therefore the value of u is equal to x that is the integrating factor is x so after finding the integrating factor, we have to multiply equation 1 by the integrating factor u. So uh, equation 1 is this. So we have to multiply x throughout this equation. And so what do we obtain if we multiply that by x? We get 2y cube x plus 2x dx plus 3x squared y squared dy is equal to 0. So this is our new equation. Now we have to check whether this equation is exact or not. So this equation is of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 where m is equal to this and n is equal to 3x squared y squared. So we will write that. So m is equal to 2y cube x plus 2x and n is equal to 3x squared y squared. So now if we find dou m by dou y it will be equal to 
so differentiating m partially with respect to y we get this as 6 y squared multiplied with x and this will be fully treated as constant so it will become 0 and dou n by dou x so partially differentiating this with respect to x we get so this is 3 2 times is 6 x y square we observe that the dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x so dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x so therefore this transformed equation that we have found that is let us mark it as equation 2 is exact so therefore equation 2 is exact so after uh, checking the exactness we have to find the solution we know that if a given equation is exact then there exists a function such that dou f by dou x will be equal to m and dou f by dou y will be equal to n so let us proceed with this uh, with that so i have written that here now first we will consider this so dou f by dou x so dou f by dou x will be equal to m so what is the m that we have recently got in our second equation it is 2xy cube plus 2x so now we have to integrate on both the sides so integral dou f will be equal to integral 2xy cube plus 2x dou x so when we integrate dou f we get f that is equal to and here with in here the integration is with respect to x so y will be treated as constant so when we integrate x we get 2x squared by 2y cube plus again here when we integrate this x we get 2x squared by 2 and this is uh, y is treated as constant so we will be having a constant of integration which will be a function of y and we will take that as f of y and so therefore capital F will be equal to this and this will get cancelled so x squared y cube plus x squared plus f of y so now in this we have to find this f of y and we have to substitute here now how to find this f of y we will be using this for that that is we know that dou f by dou y is equal to n now f we have calculated here so we will find dou f by dou y so when you differentiate this partially with respect to y you get this as 3x squared y squared now x square will be will be treated as constant so it will become 0 plus in, uh, differentiation of f of y will be f dash of y and now here we say that dou f by dou y is equal to n so if it is equal to n this will imply that 3x squared y squared plus f dash of y will be equal to n so what is n actually from our recent uh, equation we have got n to be equal to 3x squared y squared so when we substitute that n here we see that this and this will get cancelled and we observe that f dash of y is equal to 0 now when can f dash of y be equal to 0 it can be 0 only if f of y is equal to some constant so if it is a constant then when we differentiate it we get it 0 so therefore f, uh, f of y will be equal to some constant c and so therefore the solution f will be equal to so we have to substitute this f of y over here so when we substitute we get f to be equal to x squared y cube plus x squared plus this constant c and so therefore the general solution how do we write the general solution it is equal to x squared y cube plus x squared plus um, c and so we can also write the solution as x squared y cube plus x squared is equal to c so this is the general solution hope you have understood the concept of non-exact differential equation we will use further other rules and solve uh, problems which we will be seeing in our next videos thank you